I've already mentioned how much I love this music here in the lab, but like, can we just appreciate how confused Gooigi is right now? Mario! How's it going everybody and welcome back to another episode of Luigi's Mansion. I had to switch up the Luigi's Mansion intro one of these times. Anyway, last time we recovered Mario's lost items, the actual final lost items of Mario's, and we ended up sucking up a bunch of portrait ghosts, including Madame Clairvoya herself, since after recovering every lost item of Mario's, her power conveniently finally went out and she was pretty content actually with returning to being a portrait ghost funnily enough. Anyway, this time we're going to be heading up the stairs here onto the third floor, hopefully avoiding any ghosts. Uh, that's weird, usually there's red exploding spike ghosts there. I don't know why none were there, but nonetheless, I do have the ice element because you will need it. And the only unlocked door is right here, heading into the safari room. So, here in the safari room, we can't really do anything here right now, I don't think. There's a heart, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and try to exit, or there's supposed to be a ghost, I think, in here. Where is it? What if we not- oh, I know what to do. We need to activate the antler heads, antler heads, deer heads, antler heads, whatever. Uh, we need to activate all of them at the same time, if we can do that proper, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, there we go, okay. Activate all the heads, and there is an ice ghost here, and it disappeared already. So, with the ice element, as soon as this ghost reappears, thank you, want to freeze it and hit it with the ice and not lose it immediately. But what we need to do, hit it and suck it on up. Alright, so after we suck up this ice ghost, ooh, it dropped some money, that's nice, very generous, thank you. And there's another one, so let's hit it, and... This time, we're gonna suck it up as soon as the ice wears, uh, yeah, the ice wears off. After it freezes the ice, I should say. And, now we wait for more ghosts to appear. This time, a garbage ghost as well. Ooh, double garbage ghost, actually. Uh, let me freeze you. Thank you or not. I'm about to get hit with a banana, aren't I? Okay. Carefully, carefully, don't get hit by a banana. Thank you for sucking up the ghosts. I'm very surprised I able, was able to actually make it through without being slipping on a banana. There we go. Alright, hopefully we can suck you up without slipping on a banana. I was hoping I'd be able to do it, but unfortunately no. Also, wrong one, because we are sucking up the other 40 HP ghosts. Alright, where are you? Last one. Come on, buddy. You are right behind me, and I was too late. Also, I let go of the vacuum, apparently. There we go. And once we suck up the final garbage can ghost, that will do it for the room. But not quite, because of course there is a boo somewhere in here. But not only that, we just got a key to... The Boo Radar going off immensely, yes, but also we got a key to the outside. Speaking of boos, that is not a boo, but a boo is right next to where it was. Uh, antlers? There we go, okay. Little Boo Peep. Alright, let's go ahead and suck you up, or you can go in the hallway, that's nice. All right, little boo peep. Uh, okay. Oh, we're playing this game, little boo peep. All right, we're playing this game apparently. Come on, come on, just get in the vacuum. It's a nice vacuum. It's nice and roomy. It's had a lot of portrait ghosts stay in the time that I've had the pleasure of playing this game. All right, we should be able to get it here. All we need to do is make sure it doesn't go into the wall. There we go. Perfect, little boo peep has been herded into the poltergust. 
And Professor Egad is calling us as well. Ooh, special information. You've seen some small ghosts other than the booze, haven't you? Well, I'm pretty sure they're ghosts freed from the paintings of the ghost artist Van Gogh. I had a passel of trouble the first time I captured him. I know that artists strive to give life to their creations, but this guy brought ghosts to life every time he picked up a brush. Okay, now send me the boo and all the data you've got. No, Egad, I'm not sending you the data of the boo yet. Anyway, I just started recording, Egad, come on. Anyway, here on the third floor, there's not really much we can do except clip our flashlight out of the attic of the mansion window, which is nice. Uh, some of these doors are fake, but we can't go in any of them yet, and I don't have the fire element to prove it, so how about we just head outside onto the balcony? And the boo radar really is going crazy this time. What's going on here? That scaredy cat Luigi has made it this far. Oh, we're so frightened. I guess it's our turn then. All right, booze, let's summon our real form. But first, how about giving him a little scare? Say hello to Boo Lossus, the boss of this area. What we need to do is we need to get Boo Lossus to hit the uh, the horn, I guess, so to say. Of uh, oh, I need the ice element. Where is it? Come on, oh, come on. I need the ice element. What we need to do with Boo Lossus, we need to freeze as many boos as possible, and we need to suck them up with the poltergust after they've been hit with ice. And we're gonna need to repeat the process as many times as needed. So, let's get Bulosis to hit the horn of the unicorn again. Or hit me, that's great. I'm definitely not going to get a gold on this boss, but hey, it's okay. All right, get as many as I can. Actually, I'm probably gonna have to suck these guys up, yeah. I'm not gonna be able to get much more. Come on, where are you? Come on, booze. Uh, guide them over here, please. Are any gonna come my way? No, they're gonna reform. Okay, well, that's a bit unfortunate. All right, let's wait for Bulosis to come over here. Obviously, you can see Bulosis is getting smaller and smaller because, you know, there's not a lot of booze now. All right, freeze, freeze, freeze. All right, not that many. Oh, actually, I got more than I thought I did. Please, come on. Come on. Come on. Nope. Okay, they're gonna reform. Alright, I'm gonna grab more ice element real quickly. Come on. There we go. Alright. Come on, Bulosis. Let's do this. I'm losing a lot of health here, more than I would really want. Uh, we're only down to, I think, five. Oh, come on. I had it. Yes. Okay, freeze two, that's fine. Freeze another, that's okay by me. Where are you? Where are they? Oh, there you are. Oh, they were both right here. Please get over here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, yes, there are only two more left. Uh, Buasis is made up of 15 uh, smaller boos, and it is going to get progressively harder as it goes on. All right, so, come on. Come on, no, come on, come on, eh. come on, come over here. No, uh, it's so hard at the end with the booze, come on. Ah, dang it. 
Alright, yeah, this one is definitely not going to be a, uh, an easy one. This is probably one of the harder bosses. Also, I am going to die. Oh my god. Oh, got all of them? Come on! There we go. Suck up the final two boos. I wish that could have happened before I took more damage, but hey, nothing can be seriously helped, I guess. And after you defeat Bulossus and suck up all the boos, you may notice our total boo count has actually increased on the Game Boy Horror. Yes, all 15 of those boos do count towards your final goal of 50. With that, let's open the golden chest as Luigi is begging for some salvation in his life and pick up the key of diamonds. And of course, the professor is calling now that we've cleared the area boss. Luigi. Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, what a relief. That white mist interrupted your signal. Hmm. You seem to have done some serious work there. Why don't you come on back to the lab? We can have dinner while we gaze at those ghost paintings. Tonight, I'll make an old family recipe. Pickled dandelions with barnacles in a desol marinade. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Looks like you've got a vacuum full of ghosts there. What do you say we put them through the old ghost portrificationizer? The ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible forms. So it's looking like I got a lot of silvers, and also I completely missed what I got on Buasis, because Buasis was the first uh, painting that went through. I did get a gold on the twins, though, so that's actually very nice. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. Alright, let's see officially what we got. We got a gold, actually, on Madame Clairvoyo, so that's nice. Got a silver on Biff Atlas, I already saw that. A silver on Nana. A silver, I think, on Miss Petunia. Silver on Slim Bankshot. A gold on the twins, and a bronze on Bulossus. Yeah, I figured I was going to do bad with Bulossus. Anyway, the total treasure we've accumulated for this playtime is there, and our total treasure amounts to a lot of money, 27,000 something. I kind of skipped over it, honestly, by mistake. Anyway... Now that we're done with that, let's head back to the mansion, because it's time to head to the next area of the game. However, I'm actually going to skip ahead to there, because it's gonna take a little while, because I need to go through three floors of the mansion, so I will see you in a moment. So, we're back on the balcony now after defeating Bulossus. If we had a bunch of water, there are some plants that we can water in order to get some cool things, but I don't have the water element right now. So, instead, how about we focus on the giant glowing diamond right in front of us. Criminy, what a calamity. The, ele 
the electricity has gone out. The lightning strike just now must have caused a blackout. I can't see anything in those blasted darkness. The ghosts will have run a of muck of the place in the dark. Be careful, Luigi. So, it is now completely dark in the mansion once again. This is the blackout event that I have been talking about for a couple of instances now in relating to some of the speedy spirits in the game. So, with the blackout, you can re-catch speedy spirits you might have missed, or you can find golden mice you might have missed. And I'm just going to go ahead and answer this phone call because it's going to get annoying if I do the outro here with this ringing. Hello? Hello? May I ask who is speaking, please? No, that's not Luigi. It's someone on the other end who wants to know who it is. And we could answer it's Bowser, but I don't think the person on the other line would be too pleased, so I'm going to be truthfully honest. L -L Luigi? Whoa! It's me, Toad! I don't know what I would have done if a ghost had answered. Anyway, we have had a terrible problem. The lightning caused a blackout all over the house. What should we do? We're really, really afraid of the dark. Isn't there a way you could turn the lights back on? Huh? No, we don't know how to turn them on. We were hoping you know. <laughs> oh no, me! But, but now that I think about it, I do remember seeing a large breaker switch somewhere in the basement. Huh, so the basement, huh? Anyway, this room is kind of infamous with Luigi's Mansion because in the GameCube version, the shadows of the lightning striking, especially in the position of the phone call, makes it look like Luigi, um, let's just say is hanging out. And it caused a lot of squeamishness and controversy, but it's just an error with the shadows, it's nothing serious. So, uh, just wanted to clear the air there. Anyway, let's answer this other phone call. Hello? Howdy? Hello? Oh, sorry to surprise you, boy. It's me, Professor Egad. Sorry for disturbing you. I know I usually contact you by Game Boy Horror, but I thought I'd try the phone since you were in the room. Uh, Egad, how did you know that? Are you spying on me? I like how the dot 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 actually makes that seem like it's something that totally could be possible. You know that all ghosts avoid the light and hide in the dark. But listen now, there is one ghost who fled from the gallery, who only hides in the darkest places. His name is Uncle Grimly. If he's on the loose, then now may be your only chance to get him. Why don't you try looking for him before you get those lights back on? Might be wise. He's old for a ghost, but it's only made him more cautious. I do know, though, that for some reason, he tends to prefer rooms with clothes and a mirror. Uh-oh, the ghosts are starting to approach your position. Be careful, Luigi.